The transport's on its way for half eight. But I think I've got about six, seven pounds towards the transport. So you and the girls might have to just help out towards it a little bit, and then <laughs> yeah, sort of rest of the night. Yourselves, unfortunately. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Bye. The transport will be here at about eight o'clock, half past eight. Okay. Yeah. But because the budget's a bit tight, he's only got seven pounds to put towards it. Bloody seven pounds! <laughs> they haven't even left the house, and already Luke's thrifty Hindu has his bride to be seriously concerned about how he's spending the budget. With nothing yet booked for the wedding, the boys get straight down to business. This smash this stag do out then. We've got to get flights to Port Ventura for the theme park out there and the hotel. They do a premium ticket where you can go on every ride. You don't have to queue. So really? It's like the mega pass. Every mega pass. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be insane. And then you get to just run around the theme park with going on everything, go, oh, bye losers, VIP baby. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> just go on, <laughs> just go past them like, yeah, you wish you had this wristband, but you don't. <laughs> but you don't. Because I've got the wristband. Or you could be more epic and get a limo from here to the airport. Then we go do all that crazy stuff, then have a limo from there to Orton Towers. And then a limo from Orton Towers back home. Wow! Boom! There you go. Boom, so boom! Gone. And just like that, the boys book an epic theme park adventure in Spain. Plus, a day at Alton Towers when they get back. A snip at two and a half thousand pounds. Yes! Boom! It's the end of week two. Time for the Hendu. But for Luke, it's another place to save some cash. We're giving them all of our alcohol left from your state day. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've got a whole yeah. box full of alcohol. Yeah, seriously, to take so house. much booze, like. That's what I'm talking about. Wait a second. Hey! We're giving it! Here. Yes! <laughs> and you're giving Jadine her own drink for her own hen Shh, she never knows. Two princess and friends. For your Hindu, meet at Casa de Cumba, 6 p.m. for drinks and a meal to be delivered, and then transportation to a mystery venue. Love the boys. It's in the box then. Hi. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh, that's my bottle of wine. <laughs> Set me on a day. Still, Luke's bargain booze gets the hen party off to a good start. Aww. He's even splashed out on an exotic dinner. We have pizza. Well, it's Italian. Just two pizzas and a couple of cokes. <laughs> but to be fair, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to put some crumpets on, aren't we? <laughs> Just as the girls are feeling underwhelmed by Luke's cut price dinner, bridesmaid Jessica gets a call from the man himself. Hello. Hello, Jessica. Luke calling. Hello, Luke. You're right. <laughs> the transport's on its way for half eight, but I think I've got about six, seven pounds towards the transport. So you and the girls might have to just help out towards it a little bit, and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to sort of rest the night. Out yourselves, unfortunately. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Bye. The transport will be here at about eight o'clock, half past eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But. Because the budget's a bit tight, he's only got seven pounds to put towards it. Bloody seven pounds! <laughs> they haven't even left the house, and already Luke's thrifty Hindu has his bride to be seriously concerned about how he's spending the budget. I feel a little bit let down by him with his contribution of seven pounds towards our night. It makes me wonder how much he spent on his night with his lads. That would be two and a half thousand pounds. I hope it's not anywhere too far. Fortunately, it's not too far. Where the hell are we going? Unfortunately, it's really not too far. We're not going to the bell, are we? Oh, no. <laughs> oh it is! Oh, my God! Yep, it's a night out in Jadine's local. They're going to bloody know me in here. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Has the groom put any money behind the bar? 
No. He's in trouble. He's got off to a good start. Without even a free drink for the bride to be, the bridal party are getting worried about the big day itself. I just can't believe it's here. It's not so funny now, to be honest. The pizza was funny, but now it's a bit like, well, this is a load of crap. So we spent 20 quid on pizzas. And seven pounds on tax. Twenty-seven pounds he spent. Twenty-seven quid on him. That's it. He is in so much shit when I see him. <laughs> to get pissed here and go home. Okay, I've got one. Go on, Bill. Two words. Two words. Two words. First word. Meanwhile. Luke spent two and a half thousand pounds on his three-day stag party. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. To Luke. To Luke. Yeah. And he's off to Barcelona. Seriously, no talk of wedding, right? It stressed me out enough, right? I've come away for these three days to be a child. Yeah! We want Luke to forget about the, the wedding. That's, that's the whole point of coming here. He's a bit of the pressure on him, you know, just completely forget about what he's trying to achieve at home. Oh, oh, Leslie, Leslie, Leslie. You're going to express Fresh. this, mate. That's what we got these for. We got yeah, baby. Yeah. That's, what we that's money well spent, boys. <laughs> I'm so scared, yeah. I'm holding on now like that. Literally holding on. Back in Maidstone, after the disappointment of the Hindu, Jadine's sister Jess is worried about the wedding. With no sign of the bridesmaid's dresses and no invitations, she's calling Luke to find out what's going on. Why is it ringing funny? It's like a... I have no idea where he could be. Unless he's on the stag do, somewhere abroad. I don't know. Not just abroad. Luke's legendary three-day stag party continues in England. Day three of the stag do. I think, personally, I'm too tired to um, be thinking about wedding stuff right now. <laughs> a lot of people be like, oh, this process should have made you a man. Should have given you the responsibility you needed. I lost my passport. I lost my phone. <laughs> stug, stug, stug. I've lost tickets. I've lost wallets. Oh, God. There's not a lot really left. I've got to do invites, um, table plans. Why is my dresses? I don't even know if that's sorted. There is no happy ending for this show. Three days to do it easy. Smash it out. Into the tomb of death. One thing's been proven by this. You give Luke Jarvis responsibility. It all goes a bit peak tong, mate. <laughs> Into the darkness. <laughs> With still no news or a wedding date and unable to contact Luke, Jess tracks him down in the local pub. Where have you been? <laughs> and did you go on a second stag, did you? Yeah. Where have you I been? went to Barcelona. You went to Barcelona? <laughs> did two theme parks in three days. In two different countries. So how countries. much budget is that, that you've spent on that? Too much money. No, it's all right, we're fine, we're all good. I mean, we got... How much did we get? <laughs> 27 pounds? 30 quid, actually. 30 yes. quid! Jay's gonna kill you, I hope you know that. But there is good news for the bridesmaids. On the budget, I can get your dresses, but no shoes. And how much are the dresses yeah, how much? Get? <laughs> how, much? <laughs> how much are we talking? We are talking... 32 pounds, both. 
Thirty-two both. pounds for both dresses. Yeah. Back at the house, Jadine's concerns about Luke's ability to put on the wedding of her dreams are about to get a whole lot worse. On Sunday, him and four. Yeah, there's four of them. All right. Went to Barcelona, to a theme park. What the hell was he thinking? If he forgets something now, then it's always going to refer back to the, the money that he them. just spunked on the stag do. And the time. That wedding better be fucking good. <laughs> Otherwise... He's just taking it as, like, a big joke, in a way. I thought he was actually doing something constructive and that he had taken it on as a bit of a challenge and had risen to it, and it seems like he really hasn't. With just three days to go until the wedding and lots still to organise, Luke discovers his budget isn't just running low, it's completely spent. And so is Luke. Over. Out. Done. Finito. Finished. No bridesmaid dresses. No nothing. I'm cancelling the roller ring. That's what I'm going to do. Fuck it, I'm going to cancel the roller ring. And I don't care if it, it only, if it only gives me £600 back. Sod me. Sod my roller, the roller skating. I love that girl. I love her. This is who I love. I don't care about my roller freaking skating. I'm doing it for her. So I need to get that grand back. I'll get the grand back. I think finally the penny's dropped. I need to not stop thinking about my fucking self. I'm thinking about the other person in this wedding. I won't let that girl down. I won't let that girl down from the time I marry her to the time I'm gone. And I held fucking thing. I'm gonna let her down now, three days ago. So, um, what are your cancellation fees like? Do you know what? If I was doing the 17, including that, how would that sort you out? 1700 with the VAT. That's yeah. a saving of three. That's a saving of three eighty. That's yeah. that. That's fucking great. I can get my bridesmaid dresses, and everything. Fucking can you? Just put, say say yes on that. Fucking yes, Simon. You're diamonds. Disaster averted. Having saved three hundred and eighty pounds on his roller rink, Luke is back in the market for bridesmaid dresses. No, I really like. I do like this one. Obviously, because the girls are going to be in skates. I can imagine cat and Jess in that. That is below budget. 